Hey guys, Seth here. Today we have another video, and today we are going to be telling you a way you can fix hard drive failures or blue screens from startup or on your PC. So first, I would recommend if a driver stopped working, I actually got this from Microsoft Support, I'm not kidding. It, it's happened to me, I, I don't have footage of it happening, sadly, but... I kind of do, but at the same time, I can't really show it. So, first, what you're going to want to do is I would recommend starting this first, and if it works. If you, I would recommend shutting off your PC, and then, if it's, and then turning it back on, and if nothing happens, it should try automatic repair, because thinking it's got a blue, it got a blue screen, and it's going to try automatic repair. And if it, nothing happens and it tries automatic repair, it if it shows like some system restore thing, do that. And I mean, you should have to reboot it three times if it doesn't work. But usually for me, it just took one. Then what you're gonna want to do is uh, you're gonna want to mainly. Wait for it. I would recommend going to do something because it does take a long time c considering how much is in your disk drive. And if and as soon as it boots up, first thing you should do is right click on your start menu. So if I just right clicked on my start menu right now, there would be a task manager, a lot of other things. If you're running Windows 10, I would probably say you're running Windows 7. It, it's probably the same thing. But I mean, so I would recommend doing device manager, open that, and whatever driver that stopped working, or, you know, just didn't work, if it will sound anything, check for anything that has, like, any drivers, and check, right-click on that driver, and if it has check for any hardware changes, do that. Because if it has any hardware changes, and I would recommend doing updating the driver, because in case it may, it just may have been one of Microsoft's stupid failure updates, which sucks. And then, yeah. And then if you're wanting to do anything else, I would recommend doing hold the Windows key and press R at the same time. When you press them, run, okay, backspace whatever you had, if you've opened run before, and then type in, uh, Winver. And that should show your Windows 10 version, or Windows 7 version. And if it's a bad version, or, I'm currently on 8.18.03, which is the version, but... I'm not telling you the OS build, but I mean, those numbers should be higher, and if that is lower, I would suggest going in, I would suggest, if you have Search or Cortana, uh, click that, and then type in, uh, type in Set, just type in Set, or you can click your Start thing, then look for a gear, basically, the normal setting logo, click that. And then look, go go to like the it 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 has update in it in the word hold up let me yeah it has update and all and then you should do that and if that doesn't work I'm not sure if this still works but when if it doesn't want to do a system restore if you don't have any restore points I would recommend spamming F11 to get boot up and try to do startup repair if it's any startups I would recommend and if this device doesn't help uh, go check out electronic whiz one they're actually a really good technology expert I'm not that good I'm just a little kind of eh, rubby on it but uh, thank you for watching um tune in next time and I'll be seeing you later. Bye!